I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this week's episode, we're going to take a retro look at one of the coolest features that Microsoft Access had and no longer has, uh, replication, which allows you to have multiple copies of your database uh, in different places that might not have network connectivity and things like that, uh, that can synchronize with each other to get each other's updates, and that's a really, really cool feature. Let's get to it. Interested in the files used in today's video? Make sure to check out my downloads page. The link is in the description. Okay, guys, so taking a little step back in time here today, uh, did you know that there was a time when you could actually have your little database of things that you were, you know, recording and you could actually synchronize your database with other places that don't have internet access or don't have network access? So, like, say you had a items used database, you know, in your resort and there was a copy that went on the boat and maybe went on the ski, uh, up to the ski hill after they went on the boat and you, maybe it looked something like this and you know you had uh, some people in your in your database and they could you know do things or use things or whatever and then you'd want to just synchronize uh, with those locations and you actually can do that and you could actually do it quite simply uh, now this would be our master database this is the one that I opened here which is a normal MDB database the older file format and we could do that by you know we could close and go to our design and we could go to tools and go to replication we could create a replica and it would say you know you've got to close your database and then it would convert everything over to being a, a replicated database which you can make um, replicants for and so uh, what we would do here is we can say no because I already have a backup of the database and I could say well maybe this is the main office which would be you know uh, in our main folder here and it says you know I'm I'm good to go I've created my main office file I'll close this one now this one is a design master and we don't really want to keep data in there because that's where we would do our design but this would be our first uh, replica and uh, you can see these folders are actually empty. These are the locations that we have. And we could actually start working with our main database and we could go, hey, you know, make a, make a replicate. And say I wanted to make one at the ski hill. I could do that as well. So I can create a replica there and I can create a replica in the resort and uh, that is all done and I'll show you the code for this after it's actually just a few lines of code and now we have this uh, set of databases uh, we've got our main office database which probably will would get updated at the very end but you can see inside this folder I've got resort uh, .mdb I've got boat mdb in there and ski mdb in there and you could you know, imagine that you've got your resort and you open your resort file and say you know we're at the resort here and now we can start adding data and we can sort of see what's going on so say we've got Bob and Bob you know used a Jeep at the resort and you know Susie used a, a zip line and maybe somebody else used a Jeep too Liam took a Jeep out uh, from there and he said you know uh, this was great you know <laughs> and and then you know um, everybody left the resort and they're all sort of getting onto the boat now and so they might actually you know the boat staff uh, might you know be in contact with people that maybe there's no there's only you know network access while they are at um, the shore and they don't have any of those entries in their database yet and so what they'll do is they'll go hey I want to sync to the resort and uh, it'll sync up and then uh, I actually need to close and reopen the form for it to refresh, but there we go. Um, now they've got all the entries that were from the... And while we're on the boat, you know, people want to do stuff. So, you know, Haley's going to use the, uh, the snorkel and, you know, uh, uh, Susie might be using the flippers. And, uh, you know, 
um, people will be using stuff on the boat and and at the same time while that's happening I'm going to go back because you know people out there might have stayed at the resort so we're going to put some more stuff back in the resort too maybe James stayed behind at the resort and he used uh, the zip the zip line harness so now we've got uh, sort of parallel data entry happening and we've got people at the boat and at the resort now the boat is out on the water and uh, uh, but it's stopping at this you know the ski lift that goes all the way up the mountain we're we're really into our imagination here um, so what happens here is we might go uh, you know the ski uh, people they come down they meet the boat they might synchronize uh, because the ski database has nothing in it yet um, and so they'll go ahead and um, they'll synchronize before they start because they'll go well who's been using what so far so we're going to synchronize with the boat and so the boat is synchronized I, I need to reopen this form to get it to refresh but there we go so now we've got all the all of the items from the boat um, but we don't have items that ha are happening at the resort yet um, uh, but the ski uh, people they'll take off up the mountain there's no internet or network access up there but they're recording that you know uh, you know, Haley's going to use the skis and, you know, uh, Bob is going to use skis as well. Everybody's using skis up here except for James because he stayed at the resort. And, you know, um, <clears throat> and Liam's going to use skis. He's going to use some ski boots as well. And, you know, you can add as much as as many as you want. Um, <clears throat> light powder today right and uh, and so now you've got entries at the ski mountain uh, and all those people are going to go back down and they're going to go hey you know that was that was a great time and now we're going to synchronize back to to the boat now you can actually do it either way so i can go back and i can do it from the boat side or the ski side so i'll do it from the boat side this time and so now you can see we don't have the ski activity yet but we're going to reach over and and we're going to synchronize to the ski uh, mountain information that happened and we'll do a refresh here i'll just reopen that form and now we've got all the ski stuff as well um, and that's what we want to see and then the boat uh, is done uh, we might have a couple more things that happen here maybe while they're on the way back uh, you know, they go snorkeling again uh, or something like that. Um, and so now we've got another entry there. And then the boat is pulling in into the resort again. And actually, I'll open the boat and I'll push the changes this time so that you can see it going the other way. Go ahead and sync to the resort this time. And there is our synchronization and then uh, we're pretty much ready to roll there so the boat pulled in it gave all its data back to the uh, resort so we'll go back out to the resort computer and as you can see now uh, the resort computer has everything in it including the stuff that happened with james here uh, when he stayed behind uh, at the resort and so you can see how synchronization uh, replicas can be very very handy uh, there are some caveats some some gotchas to to using them and and there's uh, quite a bit of design around it so that you make sure that all of all of the replicas stay synchronized at a relatively current state but as long as you do that they can be very very effective and uh, that's what we like to see and as a last step we'll go ahead and synchronize our main office database to the resort database so that they get all of the information too.
my Patreon, the link is in the description.